I hope you had a great day at school and that you are ready to do a little bit of fun activities with me today this afternoon. So let's get started. So our first activity is a quick little warm up and it's going to go like this. So I'm going to start first so you can see how to do it. Say the word dog. Dog. Now say the word dog without the d. What are you left with? Og. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few words and maybe you can try it. Okay, say the word pen. Now say the word pen without the p. What are you left with? So you would have said n. Okay, let's try one more. Say the word big. Now say the word big without the sound b. What are you left with? Big. Okay, so that's just a little warm up activity to get our brains warmed up a bit. And it's good to just identify and see if we can hear the beginning letter sounds and if we can hear what's left. And that eventually is going to help us with some rhyming. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to flash you some letters. So you might already know these letters and you already might know the letter sounds and the names, but we're just going to work on these three letters today, just so we can work on our sounding it out, then our handwriting with these letters, and then maybe make some words with these letters. So it's going to be a fun, quick, easy lesson, and then there'll be a little bit of follow-up activities that you can do later on today or throughout the week. Okay, so the first sound I'm going to show you is the letter S, and the sound is S. So I'm going to go first. My turn. S. Your turn. My turn. S. Your turn. S. And you can just see the way that the mouth is when we say that letter. S. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the next letter. Okay. Ready. Okay. This is the letter A. My turn. A. Your turn. My turn, eh. Your turn, eh. So the name is A, but her short vowel sound is eh, eh, eh. So that's a short vowel sound. We say the vowel sound, but it's got to be short. Eh. And you can see her mouth is wide and open. Okay, and then the last letter we're going to focus on today is the letter name T, but the sound is T. Okay, so my turn. Your turn. My turn. T. Your turn. Okay, so then we are going to now look at how we form these letters. Although before we do that, let's think of some words that start with these letter sounds. So let's quickly think of some words that start with the letter sound. So I'll maybe start with a few. Sun. Stop. Okay, can you think of some more? And what you can always do is you can maybe write it down for me or draw the pictures or you can find pictures on the internet and you can put it up somewhere and print it out. Okay, so just think of some words that start with s. And then maybe we've got snake. Okay, and this also helps our um, brain warm up a bit as well, thinking of all the words there that start with this sound. Okay, now let's think of some words that start with the letter sound. Eh. So I'll go first. Maybe we've got astronaut, acrobat. Can you think of some more words that start with the letter sound? Eh? Okay, and again, you can write them down, find some pictures, maybe in the magazines, you could look for some pictures that start with eh. Okay, and then the last one that you are working on today is the letter sound t. -t. So let's think of words that start with the letter sound t. Tap. Ta. 
time. What about a big word like telescope? That's a big word. And you can even clap the syllables in telescope like this. Telescope. Those have three syllables. Okay, so you maybe can do a fun little activity with that. Now let's get on to our handwriting. Now let's look at the letter S and how it's formed. So we always start at the top. We never start at the bottom when we're forming our letters. So we start at the top and we can maybe say a saying like, just to help us remember the shape of the letter and where the, the letter faces. So it's slither down the snake. Okay, and if you've got a whiteboard, you can even do this with me. Or if you've got a book and you can, you'll also be giving it an activity to practice these letters. So we're going to start at the top. And you go slither down the snake. Okay, again, slither down the snake. And you just keep practicing, slither down the snake, slither down the snake. And you can practice on a whiteboard. And then I'm going to show you the activity you're going to be practicing on as well, but later. Then we've got our next letter that we need to practice forming is our letter A. So we always, again, we always start at the top, never at the bottom. And with our letter A, we go round the apple, up the short stick, down the short stick. So again, round the apple, up the short stick, down the short stick. And let's see how we form it. Again, you can do it with me if you've got a whiteboard or piece of paper. So let's start at the top again. And we go round the apple, up the short stick, down the short stick. Oh, make sure it's closed. Okay, let's try it again. Round the apple, up its short stick, down its short stick. Okay, and one more. Round the apple, up its short stick, down the short stick. And then what we're going to do is the last letter for today forming is our letter T. And again, we never start at the bottom. We always start at the top. So we're going to form it now. And maybe we can say down the tower. And we go across the tower. Down the tower. Across the tower. And again, let's practice together. Let's maybe do it over here. And again, always start at the top down the tower, across the tower, and again, down the tower, across the tower. So what your activity for this one today is going to be, you'll get one of these worksheets that will be synced, and you're gonna just practice slither down the snake, my letter S, and my sound, my letter A, and my sound F, which is round the apple, up the short stick, down the short stick, from the short sticks, and then down the tower, across the tower. And when you form these letters and you practice them for me, remember your finger spaces. So once you do a letter sound and the, the letter S, I want finger space, and then you're going to do it again. So remember to do your finger spaces. And then I'd love you to send this to me so I can see what it looks like. So we're just going to focus on those three letters. What you'll also get, very quick and easy again to help you form your letters and to practice, is to identify which letter to start with that. And then I'll put it in and I want you to write the letter. So this would start with that. Just show me the letter sounds. And again, it's going to help you with your letter formation to form it correctly. Make sure you always start your letters at the top. Okay, so that is the first activity. So once we've worked with that, we are going to do a sorting activity, which I'm going to send you. Also, just to get warmed up, these are quick and easy activities because we focus on us. 
there are pictures again that start with those letter sounds and you can just cut them out and stick them in the right column and then you can send me a picture of this one as well so that would be great to see all your amazing work and what we're we going to do next because you've got those two activities another activity because again we really want to just get the formation of these letters right is you're going to get one more type of activity that's going to focus with your at and we are going to do this activity you're going to find all the letters that start with the letter f you'll get us you'll get the letter s the letter a and the letter, letter t and for example say it's the letter a you're going to find all the a's so then you're going to write for me all the short f f f, f sounds you can write that for me, then you're going to do the capital A. And then it says write a few words starting with the letter A. So if you, oops, make sure that's not glaring. Let me move it over there. And then you're going to find some words starting with the letter A for me. And you're going to write it like if it's ants, and you're finding it a little bit hard to spell it, just sound it out for ants. You'll go a, n, t, and then you could write ants. And then find the pictures that start with the letter a. Okay, and then you will get one for s and t. And just an extra one if you want to, and there is time. This is another great one, just to see for extension if you want as well. You just find all capital A's and all the small A's I mean you could just color it in and then you can even draw a picture okay, so those are those activities that you can do for me and then the last two more things that I think we can focus on is we are going to just quickly read three sight words which we will call them high frequency words that we see them often in stories we see them often in books we're just going to focus on three easy ones today the sounds that we've actually learned so we're just going to read this one at at this one is a uh, because when you read it in a sentence it becomes a uh, and this one is i so let's try it again at a uh, I, you'll also be getting this sheet to help you practice. Okay, last thing is I am going to give you a sentence and then I want you to write it for me. So what I want you to get ready is to have a piece of paper, maybe with some lines, if you have a piece of paper with some lines, and I would like you to start writing for me a sentence. So maybe I'll just give you quickly a second to get your writing ready your piece of paper ready and remember when you start the sentence I want you to start with the margin I want you to start where the line is on the left hand side of the book okay so I'm going to start the sentence for you and you got to write it for me are you ready it is very simple and it's based on the letters we have learned today and it's very simple it's two words and it's just to see if you can form the letters correctly and that you've got the correct finger spaces, that you start with a capital letter and you end with a full stop. Okay, are you ready? Very simple sentence. And the sentence is, I sat. Just write that sentence for me. I sat. And even though it's very easy, I'm just focusing on your letter formation to see if you've done it correctly and that you've done it in the right spot and you've left finger spaces. Okay, I'm gonna write it and then I want you to check it with me to see if you have done it like me. Okay, very easy. And if you look at the starting at the margin, I, capital I, finger space, set, set full stop. So it should look like this. So give yourself a tick if you did your capital. Give yourself a tick if you've left a finger space. Give yourself a tick if you've left, if you've put a full stop. And if you've spelled correctly, give yourself a tick. And that 
is our dictation. And as we go on, the dictation and the sentences are going to become longer and we're going to add more words. And it's just going to keep going like that. Nice and fun. And I actually would like to give you two more words to write. Just two words. So in your piece of paper, just underneath your sentence, I want you to write the word at. Just think of the sounds. At. At. Okay. And it should look like that. And then one more. This is a tricky one. This is called a heart word because the sound you hear might be saying a different sound. So it could be tricking you. So the, the word is, are you ready? As. 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 Okay, write that for me. You might already know. But I won't explain. It's saying a different sound. Okay, have you written as? Okay, and I'm going to show you mine. Now, a uh, is making its normal sound, a, uh, but this is making a sound like z. It's a little bit tricky. It's tricking us. It's not making our sounds going as. So what we're going to do, we put a little heart above it just to remind us that it is not saying its normal sound, and we've got to remember to learn that sound off by heart, that it's going z. So we don't write a Z. Okay, and then that's just a hard word for today. Okay, so that is all for today. And as we start learning more letters, I might actually send some books as well for you to read. It might be online, a little quick reading. We might do that as we go on in our next lesson, a bit of reading. So today was just quick, easy. And it was just to see that we are going to get into a routine of doing this sort of activity and lessons. So I'd love to see all the work that you do. Please show me photos. I'm so excited to see what you're going to do for me. And I can't wait to see your work. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the lesson.